So some of you might or might not know, but two weeks ago I actually left the Rebel Media. But what you definitely don't know is that Ezra then flew to the UK to offer $20,000 to make sure that this very video would not get made. At the time I wasn't sure why on earth he was flying all the way around the world all in one day armed with non-disclosure agreements and prepared to pay a huge chunk of what he called hush money. And then there's the hush money shot side which we'll talk about in a second. I want to break it into two parts. First is severance. Yeah. And the other is sort of the hush money. Now this money was supposed to be paid to me over the next four months and, well, I accepted. And say plus 2,000 pounds, plus for each of you, 1,000 pounds a month for four months. Full disclosure here, by the way, the rebel fired both me and its UK producer suddenly without cause. Personally, I think it's because we both knew too much. Going Southern Jack was so that we had our differences, but you'll notice that they've been positive since they left it. Why would Lauren fight with them? You see how smart they are? They may have agreed to the mirror. I, I feel like I had a real hand in getting Lauren going and helping Jack a bit, but he was pretty big. And you know what's so smart they are? They're not actually saying, if they're grumbling, they're not grumbling publicly because not only would that be against their common law and contractual duties to I am prepared to give you and Kaylin a very nominal sum to sign a second confidentiality So don't go that road. Launch yourselves as independent. Be totally positive like you're going to sign it. Guys, we had a great run in the Rebel, but now we're doing something even better. We're going independent. We're going to do whatever we want. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. You'll love this in Rebel. You'll love this stuff. Don't even mention Rebel. Don't do it. I will PayPal to you right fucking now. I have the PayPal money on my phone and have it in your account in 90 seconds. Now the Rebel takes its money from ordinary hard-working people, but it also quietly takes a lot of money from less ordinary, more wealthy people too. And the more I think about it, the more I realize why Ezra was so keen to chain me up with paperwork and threats, because the ordinary, well-meaning people who are donating to causes deserve to know that what's happening with their money. They deserve to know where it's going, and Rebel doesn't want them to. But why? Why doesn't Rebel want them to know the truth? Is Oh, we're going to talk about how you crowdfund. And if you try and sell that to a, a, a real mistaker, there's something to lose. I'll have King's Nap make 10 phone calls and 10 emails, and they'll just get everybody to take their de defamation down. I first began to believe that journalistic integrity wasn't a priority at the Rebel when they began pulling major stories I was covering. First was a massive scandal. It was completely damning that I uncovered at UK. Basically caught the party committing what looked like electoral fraud. And we had proof. But Ezra, he didn't want to know. In fact, when he saw the video, he actually flipped out and pulled it, demanding we don't ever mention it again. He actually accused us of campaigning for the candidate that the party was trying to screw over. But the thing is, Ezra didn't seem to care about the truth. He openly talked about his plans for Nigel Farage to join the rebel before, even trying to get him out for dinner with us all, hoping to form some kind of alliance. The problem with this story? Farage had openly been critical of the candidate in question, and so a national story disappeared overnight. Paul Joseph Watson was also invited to this dinner, by the way, in what seemed like yet another attempt to hire him right out under from Alex Jones. Obviously, he never showed to that dinner. So, in fact, these erratic and aggressive emails weren't uncommon. The rebel commander has a habit of flying off the handle. After speaking to employees at the rebel live event in Canada I went to, it actually became pretty clear that these attacks were nothing compared to what actually goes on at the rebel office. Questioning the rebel's ethical decisions run you the risk of being on the receiving end of his legendary temper. And apparently it's also not uncommon for rebel staffers to be brought to tears by these tirades. I've even heard that while launching a lawsuit against one journalist who dared to question what happens to the rebels' donation money, Ezra literally said that he wasn't suing for money, but to ruin his life. That the reason he was suing him was so he actually committed suicide. There was a guy in, in Ottawa who, who talked about our crowdfunding and so I sued him for $95,000. It's just not a lot of money, but it, it's just I wanted to send a signal. And fucking this guy here uh, 
is in a five-year trial. He's in a five-year fucking trial. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Now, do you remember that Israel trip that Rebel crowdfunded for? The one that took place at the same time that Lauren Southern went independent? It's not a coincidence. It actually turns out that Rebel crowdfunded more than enough money to cover the costs of that trip, and yet they still demanded she make a video asking for more. Of course, Lauren refused, and after raising concerns about the ethics of lying for the money that they didn't need, she was unceremoniously fired and threatened with legal action if she ever spoke out about it. That's right, she didn't leave, she was fired. And this brings me to my main point. And that's what the rebel does with your money. The rebel presents itself as a crowdfunding source of real news, conservative commentary, and the other side of the story. But the more I learned, the harder it is to believe that rebel is actually nothing more than making money. The rebel makes enough from its shows to cover its costs. And apparently it even makes more from backers on top of that. So what on earth does it need with your money? The thing is, when you donate to a rebel campaign, you're actually giving money to a business not a charity. While the rebel does spend a huge amount on lawyers, billboards, and URLs, this is nothing compared to what is actually coming in. These are simply tools to boost donations. See, emails are key for them. At the rebel, you're put under immense pressure to create petitions and to turn stories into campaigns. Over and over, Ezra would drill into us the importance of collecting email addresses. To sign our petition. And chip in 10, 20, 50 bucks. To sign our petition. I've set up a petition. Sign our petition. You go to firebob.ca. Sign our petition. To sign the petition. Sign our petition now. And sign your name right now. We've started a petition. I've set up a petition. Sign our petition. Please sign our petition. We're launching a petition. Sign the petition. I want you to go to refugeepause.ca right now and sign our our petition. I say we start a petition. And sign my petition. You to sign our petition. Will you sign my petition? Sign our petition. Sign our petition. And we're asking you to sign it. You to sign that petition. It's more than 10,000 Albertans have signed our petition already. We're well on our way to our goal of 100,000. Sign our petition. And sign our petition. And sign our petition. They can't stop us. Even once boasting over dinner how easy it was to use a website called Nation Builder to send 100,000 people an email asking for money without the media or the public knowing anything about it. And according to the contribution policy, any extra money campaigns raise goes back into the company. While Ezra was in town to haggle over this hush money, again, his words, not mine. And then there's the hush money. He used this as a threat, boasting that it protected him from anything anyone might say about what they do with that money. But the thing is, this policy isn't clear about what exactly the money goes on, and it isn't easy to find either. Earlier today, I followed the uh, donation procedure, and at no point was any of this information ever offered to me. In fact, I had to go off the Rebel site and search Google, and I had to Google Rebel Media donations, terms and conditions just to find it. I mean, yes, it's still a page hosted on the Rebel site, but it doesn't look like anywhere on the rest of the site actually links to it directly. So. What exactly is happening with that money? Well, Ezra would often push videos as a priority because they, in his words, pay all of our wages this month. As if Rebel didn't already make hundreds of thousands without donations. So, say you're donating to help 60,000 families made homeless by wildfires, or to cover the legal fees for a young rape victim, or to create a documentary about Christians facing persecution and violence in Iraq. Well. Where does your money go? Here's the thing, no one really knows. When the rebel asked for money that it already had for the Israel trip, what exactly was that money for? When Laura Loomer was arrested in New York, Ezra had already set up a donation page for legal fees. And that was before she even stormed the stage. When rebel said it needed $25,000 to make a documentary about Iraqi Christians, the documentary never happened. Instead, the Rebel produced a series of two camera pieces from Iraq asking for money. I was even told the videographers weren't even allowed to get out of their car to gather footage as that wouldn't directly make money. And now the rumour is that the Canadian Revenue Agency are about to audit the crap out of Rebel Media fundraising on suspicion that the money is going to pay Ezra's own hefty legal fees. And whether that's true or not, one thing is for certain. Ezra has explicitly refused to release Rebel's accounts. So it looks like you won't know where he's spending your money. 
or if he's even spending it at all. Even Rebel co-founder Brian Lilly has now left the Rebel, publicly blasting their lack of editorial behaviour and judgement, something he says will destroy the Rebel and anyone attached to it. And I have to agree. Just look at the Twitter and the YouTube comments. It looks like everyone is ditching the Rebel, and soon Ezra and his partners will be left alone with only Laura Loomer for company. The minute this video goes out, there will be demands shouted into phones and letters and emails will be flying back and forth between lawyers and he's going to make sure that I pay for what I said today. So in the interest of free speech and the public interest, I urge you now to download this video and re-upload it, share it, whatever you can. Because Ezra has a history of aggressively taking down content and channels that he doesn't like. It's pretty likely I'm going to be sued. Probably almost immediately. But enough is enough! I'm calling time on this bullshit. For too long people have been allowed to donate, literally, blindly, to a corporation that's simply a money-making machine. I believe that Rebel is an ethical black hole, and if people are giving their hard-earned money to it, they deserve to know the truth. After all, if there's nothing to hide, then there's no reason for Rebel not to publish its accounts. In the meantime, I'm looking ahead, and collaborating with a few others to launch a new channel. Now, I can't say too much about it right now, but think the opposite of everything that I've just told you about Rebel. We're going to be about real, independent journalism, reporting facts and uncovering the truth, something that even the left or the right media don't seem to be doing right now. We're building a great team, and we want to cover the stories that matter, not just the ones that make money. Ezra and his lawyers are probably going to try and make sure that this never, ever happens. So if you want to help, if you want to donate and help us build real, ethical, independent media, then I'll leave a link at the end and in the description. Because we're going to be doing things differently, starting with the accounts. Every single penny that we receive in donations will be recorded and reported to you at the end of the month, so you know exactly where your money's going, unlike the rebel. Oh, and by the way, there's way more to come on this story. So watch this space.